I'm going to be doing a requested video. Um, somebody asked to do a what do I have in my fragrance collection. So I'm going to show you guys my fragrance collection today. But before I get started, I just want you guys to know to pause and hit that subscribe button right down below. I currently have a goal of 1,000 subscribers and I know we can achieve it. Um, not only are you going to be able to see my new videos, I'll be able to see what kind of videos that you prefer to watch so I can make videos curated to what you want. Um, and also, once I do hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to show my boyfriend my YouTube channel um, for the first time, and I'm going to film it and everything, so we can see his, like, initial reaction, which is probably going to be, like, like, I don't even want to think about it. I always say that, but I really don't. Um, but yeah, so I am going to jump in right into my fragrance collection. Now, before I jump in to my fragrances, I do want to let you guys know that I do work with fragrance and cosmetics in my work, so... I mean, I collect a lot of that kind of stuff, so this was all just, you know, collected throughout the years. I also want to let you guys know, if you want a specific detailed video about any of these fragrances that I haven't made already, um, just leave a comment down below on it. I'm going to leave my fragrance undressing videos right in the down bar, so if you have any questions about any of these fragrances, um, you can check to see if I made a video about that already. But we're going to jump in with my Chanel collection, specifically because that's my biggest, like, branded perfume collection that I have. Um, so I just want to get those out of the way. I'm going to start off with my first Chanel perfume ever, which was my Chanel number no. 5. Now this one is in the Eau de Toilette, which is a little bit of a lighter form than the Parfum. With this one, you still get that, hmm, that beautiful powdered scent that Chanel is known for. Um, but it's a little bit lighter than the Parfum. So that is my first one. The second one is a new one to my collection. Now this is the Coco Eau de Parfum. Now this one, um is the 1.7 now what i love about this is it's like it's similar to number five but it's got a little bit of a spicy kick to it so this is a great nighttime fragrance that i love to wear and i always get compliments when i wear the specific one i'm gonna jump in to my chanel mademoiselle which i would say this is probably my favorite one i have it in the 3.4 and i have it also in the 1.7 what i love about this is if you if you are looking for a fragrance for somebody that you love and know and you want to get them a Chanel fragrance I highly recommend if you want to do a classic Chanel fragrance go with the Mademoiselle it's so light and flirty and so feminine it's a beautiful beautiful scent and you really cannot go wrong with the Mademoiselle so the next fragrance on my list is a Chanel Chance um, perfume now this is in the Eau Tendre this is also a phenomenal Chanel product to get for somebody um, if you don't know what they like this has a really gorgeous, kind of a sparkling floral scent to it. It smells mm, so delightful, and it just makes me think of springtime and summertime. It's so light, but you still get a good amount of floral. My next fragrance is also part of the Chanel Chance line. Now, this one is the Eau Vive. This one is a very unique scent, I find. It's like light and crisp, but you still get that feminine um, scent to it, and you still get a little bit of a floral. So I've been loving the Eau Vive. And the last Chanel Chance fragrance I have is in the Eau Fraiche. This one is a great, great summer spring scent, especially if you like a very light scent. If you don't want anything too heavy, this one has a very nice green scent to it. It just reminds you of just fresh uh, roses blossoming, fresh flowers. I really love this line. That wraps up the Chanel portion of my fragrance collection so now we're going to jump into my other fragrances that I have. I'm going to jump in with my Juicy Couture now. Um, I used to have a very very large obsession with Juicy Couture where I had to have every single thing juicy. still have a lot of the fragrances um, so I'm going to start off with Juicy uh, Viva La Juicy La Fleur which is a light crisp floral scent of the original Viva La Juicy. With this one it's light and delicate and you get a floral to it but you also get a little bit of a powdery scent as well and I mean Juicy Couture I think hands down has some of the cutest packaging ever especially for a, a girly girl. The next one I have is just the original Juicy Couture with this one. This one's more of like a Juicy Classic line. It's still floral but you get a little bit of like a cashmere scent to it if you will. 
Um, so I have that in the biggest bottle they make because obviously I was obsessed with this. The next one I have is the, I don't even remember the name of this one, it's been a while, the Peace Love and Juicy. Now this is kind of similar to the Chanel, um, the Eau Fraiche Chance because it has that really nice green scent. So it reminds me of springtime, summertime, um, but I used to love this one as well. This was I think the newest one that I bought. Um, it was quite a while ago, but I do have that. And then the last one you cannot go wrong with, this is the Viva La Juicy. This one is a little bit of a stronger floral. This one actually stays on, I'd say pretty long, at least on myself. This one is one of, I think, Juicy Couture's most popular ones actually currently. So I have that one. A new one from Juicy Couture is the new, um, it's a bottle with like sparkling, um, like pink and gold glitter to it. I forgot the name. I think it's Viva La Juicy, or Juicy Couture Rose. That one smells incredible. I would love to buy it, but I think I have a good amount of fragrance, so I don't need to. Um, but yeah, and that wraps up my Juicy Couture portion of this video, well, of this fragrance collection. I'm gonna do my Estee Lauder fragrances now. The first one I have is the Beautiful Sheer, which smells so, so good. It's a light, 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 crisp floral scent, and this one lingers forever. I highly, highly recommend, if you have a mother or a friend or a sister who loves Estee Lauder Beautiful. If you want to get them something a little bit different, Beautiful Sheer is a great, great fragrance. The next fragrance I have by Estee Lauder is the Modern Muse Chic. With this one, it's the Rebel version of their Modern Muse line. So you have the studded bow. Love the scent of this. You still get a good amount of jasmine, but it's not super strong. And the last one from Estee Lauder that I have is my favorite one. It's the Modern Muse Le Rouge. Now this one is an amazing fragrance. It's got a beautiful roses and vanilla scent to it. So if you prefer more florals, you'll smell more of the rose, but if you prefer more of that warm scent, you'll prefer the vanilla. This is a great product, and this is actually Kendall Jenner's fragrance, so love that. Now we're just gonna wrap it up into my two mini ones. The first one is, well mini ones, the ones that I don't really have many of. Now the first one is the Prada Le Embre. I can never pronounce this, oh, whatever, who cares. But this one I love, it's got the little puffball to it. Now if you want a warm cashmere, like ambery scent, this is the perfume to go. You have this gorgeous, gorgeous, it's like a powdery warm scent. I don't know, it reminds me of vanilla and golden sugar, if that makes any sense. But that one is by Prada. And the last one I have is um, the Marc Jacobs Daisy. This one is a so super duper popular. My boyfriend's mother actually gave me this one. With this one, you get a good amount of floral, but with Marc Jacobs, I feel like none of their perfumes are really that strong. They're just really light and they just smell so good. Um, but yeah, so that is my uh, fragrance uh, collection. Thank you guys so, so incredibly much for watching. I just got perfume on my finger or oh, whatever. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay subscribed. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Have a phenomenal day. Bye!